my name is Susan Gordon, and I'm the director of the Alliance. Is this okay? Working? Alliance for Nuclear Accountability, which is a national network of 35 local, regional, and national organizations representing the concerns of citizens, I'm sorry, concerns of communities in the shadows of the U.S. nuclear weapons site, uh, sites across the country, and I live in Santa Fe. I appreciate this opportunity to comment on the Department of Energy's draft supplemental environmental impact statement on plutonium disposition, and I'll submit my, com my written comments for the record. The document we're discussing tonight is part of the problem in the daunting challenge to deal with surplus weapons plutonium and not part of the solution. Almost five years in process, this document plows little new ground and only serves to reaffirm the misguided policy to fabricate, fabricate plutonium into mixed oxide fuel, MOX. Given the significant changes to the plutonium disposition plan since preparation, of the storage and disposition of weapons usable fissile materials final programmatic environmental impact statement in 1996, ANA calls on DOE to amend that PEIS to review all options for disposing of plutonium as nuclear waste. <coughs> in addition, a standalone plan B <coughs> for disposing of plutonium as waste is needed in the event of the MOX program failure. While presenting use of MOX fuel in the Tennessee Valley Authority's Browns Ferry and Sequoia reactors as part of the so-called pre preferred alternative, the draft document shockingly reveals that this outcome is far from certain and states that TVA does not have a preferred alternative at this time regarding whether to pursue, or pursue a radiation of MOX fuel in TVA reactors and which reactors might be used for this purpose. Though the document deals only with 13.1 metric tons of plutonium, it includes a no-action alternative that simply reaffirms MOX production and use of 34 metric tons of plutonium. This is problematic in several ways, especially in that it affirms that TVA would not receive MOX fuel from DOE. A special note is a very brief section entitled Commercial Nuclear Power Reactors that mentions that the NRC licensing is necessary. Yet any discussion of the need for NRC license testing of MOX test fuel is studiously avoided in the document. MOX made from weapons-grade plutonium has never been used on a commercial scale in any reactor worldwide and has never been tested at all in a boiling water reactor like Brown Spirit. Likewise, the failed MOX test in Duke's Catawba pressurized water reactor was halted prematurely and not taken to conclusion. In its August 8th um, Global Nuclear Fuels presentation to the NRC on licensing of the boiling water reactor uh, MOX fuel to the company's specifications, Global Nuclear Fuels made clear that a three-cycle test of lead use assemblies would be needed, making that a six-year test would be needed. As the test fuel could be made in the MOX plant only in <coughs> uh, 2019 at the earliest, according to GNF, the MOX test would only be over in 2025 at the earliest. Then post a radiation examination and licensing would mean that MOX use could not begin until 2026 or later if the tests were successful, if TVA decided to pursue MOX at Browns Ferry, and if the NRC licensed the first ever commercial use of MOX made for weapons grade plutonium. So you're getting the picture. MOX use by, T MOX use by TVA is highly speculative and pursuit of any undefined generic reactors is even more speculative. Such speculation is nothing to base this NEPA um, document on and affirms that the document which has been produced does not provide legitimate basis for issuance of a record of decision. DOE must cancel the costly MOX program, prepare a new programmatic environmental impact statement on disposition of plutonium as waste, and focus in the short term on safe, secure storage of plutonium now stored at the Savannah Riverside, Pantex, and Los Alamos. A careful review of options to dispose of plutonium as an immobilized waste form will yield the best path forward, a path away from a prol proliferation prone and risky attempt to commercialize the use of plutonium as a nuclear power fuel. To be clear, the draft document is unrealistic and inadequate concerning MOX testing and use. No MOX plant operational schedule is presented, no plan or schedule for MOX testing in TVA or generic reactors is presented, and no schedule for full-scale use of MOX is presented. Therefore, no record of decision can be issued. Thanks very much.
Scott Kovac is next.